Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today, we are going to be designing a portfolio website inside of Canva and with this, the main aim is to help you present yourself at a much higher standard to your clients so that when they see you, they can have the confidence that you, yes you, and you can do the job they want you to do. So if you are interested, stay tuned and I will be right back to the intro. Okay, so here we are in Canva and the first thing we have to do is to click on create a design. No, it's to open Canva. The second thing you should do is to click create a design and the third thing you should do is to search for a website like I've done over here. When you do that, then you move to the next step, which is to click on this option we have over here. The dimension is 1350 by 650 pixels. Okay, so when you do that, you should have something like this opened. All right, all right. That's our term. If I say all right, wherever you are you also have to respond all right good now this is what i want you to have in mind you should have photos of yourself you want to use for your portfolio website because you are going to be presenting yourself through your website all right but in my case i'm going to be using some stock images because i just want to help you so i didn't think of taking photos of myself okay so don't worry about that all right all right now i have some images over here i'm going to be using okay so i select this one for example and i'm going to remove the background of this image okay so i come to effect then i click on remove background okay so canva has done its magic and the next thing we are going to do is to click on apply now after you click on apply you can see this image is just here and we are going to position it here then we increase the size of this image okay we increase it just in case um to make us look bigger okay okay so once you increase the size of the image just position it here all right and um, what we can do is we can work with our brand color so if you have brand colors then this is where it comes handy okay so we just select the background and we come to colors in colors we can use any of these background depending on what you prefer but i would highly recommend you use um a brighter or a lighter background okay so maybe in my case let's say this was her brown color we are going to be using this yellow okay yeah so after we do that the next thing we are going to do is to come to text okay and in text we are going to simply select add a heading so like i said we select add a heading and we have it here in our design so we position it here and i'm going to be using two main fonts okay and i'll just say my branded font the heading is going to be montserrat and the sub font or the body text is going to be quicksand okay so i just come here to this section and i search for montserrat okay so i come here and select extra bold because this is going to be the heading all right all right now so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to type the name of this lady here so i would say leandra l-e-a-n-d-r-a gomez okay so i have the name big over here okay then i press t on my keyboard for another text so i press t on my keyboard for another text then i come here again and i search for quick sound okay so q-u-i-c-k okay quick sound so yes i just select it and it should change quickly for us then we move it to the top over here make sure everything is aligned properly then we also reduce the size of this text all right then we double click and just say hello there okay so hello there then we move it here okay so we are going to change the alignment to left okay so just click away first now select okay the alignment is now left you select this and also make it left all right all right then i just move this here a little bit now i think this is looking too long okay with the name so i can just push it in okay then i come to the spacing and i reduce the line spacing okay then we would increase not to reduce but rather increase the size of this and select all now and move it to the top 
then we move it up a little bit so that you know it just matches her head over here now the next thing i'm going to do is to employ some dummy text okay so usually this is just to um how is it called this is just to say something small about yourself so i would you know click away and move this to the bottom then i duplicate this and duplicate okay i click and duplicate i don't know what i said earlier i just forgot <laughs> so i select all and make this one also bold then i can say i okay i am passionate passionate about about design okay so if you're passionate about fashion your passion depending on what you are passionate about that's what you would have to put over there okay and just in case you had some cars um you know they're hung don't worry you know we have very silly people here yeah, sorry to say but it's the truth okay so i select all of this okay my dynamic text and clear it because it shouldn't be too much and i just drag this over here okay and i would bring it i think the text is still too much i would remove more of it and yes i would just have something simple like this okay i move it up a little bit maybe i should use my arrow keys so this is what we have at the moment and i think with the color um let's make it maybe dark no it should be black because we are working with this uh our brown color so this can be okay can be this and this can also with headings and subheadings can take you know you get what i mean so yeah this is what we have done at the moment okay nice so when anyone gets to visit our website or our portfolio website this is what we are going to show them but it would also be good to add a button okay so to add a button we would press arrow on our keyboard for a rectangle and we are going to reduce the size of this rectangle to something like this okay because it's going to be a button then we move it to the bottom and change the color to the blue okay because we are working with two main colors on this particular website so i duplicate this text and i will just drag it on top and you can see we can't see the difference so i change the color of my text to yellow then i can say email me okay or let's work together or like something like that but i'll just say email me okay then i position it here okay so now the next thing we are going to do is to select the two and we group them so you can use ctrl g to group or you can just select the two you see group at the top and you just group them okay then we select everything here and move it to the top so then let's increase this lady a little bit and she kind of like looks blurry so to fix that we come to adjust we come to blur and we will just reduce it a little bit more okay so something like negative 21 which is cool so she is looking sharp all right all right oh since this all of this is looking too much we will just select everything and also to reduce the sizes okay and we also want to um take advantage of the white space all right so this is what we have at the moment you can see i'm just trying to give more spaces all right isn't this looking beautiful it is looking beautiful if you want to also add some style you can maybe put some circle behind your head so that you'll be looking holy in your designs then i change this to blue look i already love this i already love what we are doing so we are done with the heading now click on the plus icon to add a new page and this page is going to be about me all right so with this i'm going to choose blue okay so that when we scroll we can see the effect beautifully <laughs> okay so we just select the name here come here paste it here and change the color to yellow okay then we reduce it small do something like this then what we are going to do now okay is to change this whole text to about mm, about me okay then we position it here okay 
but everything should be aligned okay so to know if whatever we are doing is aligned what we are going to do is we'll just um, use a line okay and i'll rotate it to maybe 90 degrees okay okay so i have 90 degrees now okay and i'll just move it close and we are just going to use this for our alignment okay so i move everything here and you can see this is just to make sure that we are doing things um, the right way so i copy this line bring it here and paste it here okay so it means that the about text or the about me text should come here all right all right so now that we have that i would maybe reduce the size more okay and i would press l for line select the yellow color again and i'll just hold you know i'll click this point of it and hold shift then i reduce the line i just want a very short line okay then select all and move it here okay so you can just move it here then we are going to um, write something small so i just come here and choose my text to see and uh, v all right all right okay so i just move it to the top here and maybe i can change the color to white okay have it white but uh this will also depend on what you want so let's make this 18. no i didn't say i didn't say eight i said 18. 18. why is my text messing up 18. okay so this is what we have and uh, maybe we can also come back and make this 18 okay so 18 also mm -hmm. you know so that everything gets look um consistent okay so this is 21 and this is 18 so at least you can even tell the um you know the hierarchy then the next thing we are going to do is to add an image okay so with this um first of all let me just say maybe uh graphic okay designer based in um ghana okay yeah because i'm from ghana so i can't use any other country ghana so if this is something you also want to have on yours you can also say a graphic design um designer based in india based in zimbabwe south africa nigeria um the uk anywhere you're from all right all right then we come into element okay in element we are going to get the square over here and we would you know position it here and maybe increase the size a little bit okay then we would scroll down in element to search for the grid okay so we search for this grid we have over here also then we just reduce the size and position it here and bring it forward okay so it should be something like this and i would also move this to the top okay so this is what we are doing so now what we have to do is to make sure everything is positioned beautifully inside our um thing okay i don't inside this is just something like a frame okay so yeah so let me just drop it down a little bit okay so i think everything is looking fine then i come into my photos back into my photos and maybe search for one of my uh images then click and drag it here okay it would have been nice with a blur background but look this is something we just want to have and um, what we are going to do next is maybe duplicate this one okay and position it here just on top over here if you can see um i okay so i am leandra okay the mess okay so i drag this one out okay then you know i just put maybe a lead designer this is just um guiding you on how you can do your arrangements okay so i just come here and steal some text from here come to page two and paste it here okay so you can also you know have this one also and this is mainly to tell whoever is looking at your website just to introduce yourself a little bit okay so 
uh, I just will duplicate this page, you know, all of this text and add it here again so that it's just us um, introducing ourselves. So after we do that, one thing I'd want us to do is maybe add a little bit of details. Okay, so maybe your Facebook, your Instagram and things like that. So to do that, what we are going to um, do is to come into element and in element, we come into the search box and search for Facebook. Okay, so I search for Facebook. So with all of the types over here, you can just choose um, any of them. So I'll choose this type and we have the magic um, recommendation. So I select this Instagram design, AVM LinkedIn, you select LinkedIn. Um, let's go inside and see. Okay, so we have YouTube also. Um, which one do I want to use? Let's say I have Spotify. Uh, maybe I'm a musician or I love, I have my own uh, music and I think this is TikTok. So yeah. So now that we have all of that, we just drag them here. Okay. And um, this is what we are going to do. I'll put all of them together first. Okay, and hold this one and also bring it here. Then we select all of them and reduce the size so that they can be equally sized or the sizes can be equal. All right, then I position them here. You know, I just position them out. Yeah, even even with that, they still look big. I think they, they still look too big. So we'll select all of them and we would reduce the size more. Okay, yeah, so I think something like this. Then you come to position. Okay, then you click horizontal. So it will arrange all of these things well for you. So you can select all. You can do that. So select in them, select them individually and change the colors. Okay, so that's what you have to do um, here. And I select this and also come here and choose this. Okay, so already I'm loving the design and it still looks big to me. So I would reduce it more okay now we can repeat this call to action okay because the main aim is for any client to email you so we can just repeat this call to action here okay and since the background is blue okay we click on the background and we change this one to yellow and we click on our text and change the color to blue okay how come blue actually makes the text bigger oh my goodness <laughs> this is very scary so maybe i just reduce this okay reduce the size by one you know yeah sometimes you just have to you know then i select everything over here and unselect this line and move it up okay so that it's centered on the page nice one so now that we have that or uh, what we can even see here is um download my cv okay so download cv okay and i select all and i reduce the size by one and this is just so that the button doesn't um you know doesn't get affected so i would ungroup these elements first okay then i change the size back to 21 okay and maybe stretch it out and maybe click away and come back just to you know make my button look sexy sexy again okay so yeah i do that and move it up and yeah i think this is cool then i can just group them again all right so the grouping remember if you want to group them and you don't want to be clicking it's just ctrl g and on group is ctrl shift g okay so that's um what you have to keep in mind so this is beautiful okay now we are moving to the next page where we are going to be talking about our scales okay so maybe even to do this we can simply duplicate this page so i click on this triple dot over here and duplicate okay then i make this one yellow again and everything else is going to be you know blue so i select this at the top come here and select blue and i just say my my scales okay then i come to the line over here click on this and select blue so that is visible and i will delete these ones for now because we wouldn't need them okay so with this um, section we are going to be doing something very interesting okay so i can say a quick review 
how do you spell review v i e w about a quick review on my skills or about my skills who cares look i don't i, I just want to teach you how to do this quickly so i just want to teach you how to english or things like that so this is what we're going to be. press l on your keyboard okay and we come to um the style first and click the first one okay then we come to the line weight and we will increase the size of it okay then we can position it here but we'll come okay so let me just do this i press alt and shift so that i reduce them and i can move it here then with this i can select and maybe the first skill i want to see is um canva design okay so canva design can come to the top and maybe i can increase this a little bit okay so canva design and with this line i'll just duplicate it and um we would make this one maybe white okay so white but we will reduce the transparency of it okay then we position this right on top okay so right on top of the line okay and we change the color to blue and then depending on your skill level you would have to press shift and be dragging okay so this is how it's going to be so we select this and duplicate bring this one down here and the next another thing i'm able to do is um, web design or uh, leandra is able to do web design so i can see web development okay it looks like i can't even spell during my tutorial so with this maybe i can just bring this down a little bit okay then select all of this duplicate bring it to the bottom here and uh, maybe i can add something like content design okay so no it's not together so you just have to make sure that it's also aligned properly everything is aligned properly so you can use your arrow keys that's why it's on your keyboard use arrow keys then i select all and say content design or content creation then i select this and hold shift and bring this up a little bit and maybe another thing let me just do video editing okay so i bring this one also down here okay then i select this one okay this one and i say video editing then maybe i can reduce this a little bit okay so something like this and yeah this is what we have at the moment so if you want to show off a little bit you can also um do something cool like this so i will change the button to um blue okay and i can just remove this for now and i will make this some some sort of square okay so this can be here and let's come and search for award okay so i'll select this one and i'll position it here okay then reduce it yeah and drag it here okay then come to colors and we just change it to the yellow all right and this text can go off for now then i can maybe duplicate no i like this one instead so i duplicate this and position it right under this and just tuck it in okay then you can position it here and center and you can see 20 awards one okay yeah so that it just helps your clients or whoever is interested in your service to know that you are not just um you know you are really about what you do you really understand what you do okay okay so let me just use my arrow key to yeah position them i think this one is to the top so we bring it down and just select everything here and maybe move them okay so i think there's one more thing we have to fix no hold this and hold it i just have to clear 
almost anything that was here nice one okay so then i select everything again and i bring this down here so we can also see um training okay then we can select this sorry rather this one okay so once we select um this photo over this icon we can just move it here and we would also just have to reduce the size of it so i reduce the size of this and reduce it more okay then i can maybe position it down here then we come to the colors and we change the colors to okay we change the colors to yellow then we can say maybe 15 trainings okay so 15 workshops okay so maybe 15 workshops um, conducted or something like that you can also add that here so this can be positioned somewhere here then what we can do next is to add some of our works okay so i can just click on a new page and this can be the blue okay so that just to add the scrolling effect but remember it can be a lighter yellow a darker yellow or a darker blue lighter you can also have it that way depending on what you want okay so i come here and i'll select all of this and duplicate come here no let me rather come here rather okay just to make it easier copy come here and paste it here so you can just say previous out okay and this can be a quick view of past projects okay and um, with this i'm basically going to be adding photos and things like that okay so that's what i'm going to do here in this um section so i come to i come to the page two okay then i select this image i just select all of it and copy come here and paste okay and the idea is to reduce uh this image then we duplicate okay so we'll just arrange them beautifully on this page okay okay so after you arrange it make sure you tidy them up okay then we will just um center these ones over here okay then i can come to photos and in photos i can just add some images so i can see nature okay then i can drag this here and drag this here and drag this here and drag this also here all right all right okay so then we just have to make sure it's a it's aligning and depending on the, um, your style you can arrange this any how you want okay so if you want it to be arranged simply like you know a very simple layout like this you can do that or if you want to make maybe this one bigger position it here uh and maybe send it to the back and maybe you have this one also increase it you know just to give it a crazy style you can you can also do that i think with this it's your portfolio so depending on how you want to present your portfolio that's what you um have to have to do okay so maybe select this one and maybe move it to the bottom so you can see this is looking very um very cool this is looking very cool so maybe these are some of the things i have done and now the last thing is how do you how do we make this feel like a website so to do this let's go back into canva and i will show you how you can you know share this link so now let's just um see what we've done from the beginning i click on this let me just remove all of these lines over here okay and i come here and i delete and um before i even show you how to view this on your browser what i want us to do now is to add the links okay so remember we made this as a button and we group them together so now we come to link and i can say mail to okay then colon what am i doing colon okay then i can say geek africans at gmail.com 
okay yeah, and i can click on apply so now this is a link when i come to page two i can click this come to link and enter my addresses so facebook okay dot com slash african geeks okay so i'm going to do all for this and i'll just skip the process for these icons okay and with the cv what we can do is we can actually um have it in um, a google drive and pick the link and position it here okay so we embed the link in this i don't have uh, a cv unfortunately so i'm sorry about that okay so now that we are done with everything this is i'm thinking of doing something very interesting okay so let's do this let's add some beautiful things over um here so i press circle okay and i can you know maybe add some circles to beautify our um our portfolio website a little bit okay yeah something cool and um, this can be maybe another one okay and i can just select okay reduce the size you know there's actually no purpose to this but just to um add a little bit of nice touches to our website okay so that's um that's all about about that so now we come to um this triple dot over here okay so when you click on it come if you don't see website over here okay you just have to come to see all okay and in see all you should just scroll down and find website so it should be somewhere here but in my case because i'm working the website is at the top over here so i click on that and when you do that okay we have the website so come here and click on scrolling all right okay then you click open website so it should open in your browser beautifully so my browser is loading and let's see how everything is going to look like on my browser so you can see how this is looking a very cool portfolio website when you scroll down you see how nice it looks uh, so you can see um oh this is beautiful this is so beautiful so this is what some interesting ways to um uh, present your portfolio and uh, it, when i click on email me let me say right click and open it should open my email okay so that a client can easily send me an email and let's check with this open new tab it should go straight to my instagram so i hope you enjoyed it and if you want the template for this beautiful portfolio website check the link in the description below there's um you know you can just have it there and edit it and make it yours so i hope you found this helpful let me know if you enjoyed this and let me know what you'd like me to make next in the comment section the name is benjamin and always remember there is no limit to creativity i will see you in my next video